What is going on guys? Marcus here with the Reformation Wood Shop. I am currently at flip house number three. If you know anything about remodeling, you know that there is dust and debris all over everything, everywhere. So you take a shop back to your job site. That's just what you do. You clean up after you're done. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make your shop back run to its fullest with the M5 Dust Collection Cyclone from Mullet. Yeah, I said Mullet. Let's bust this thing out of the box. I don't think I need to explain wheels, right? All right, wheels. Full 360 rotation. All right, so the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do when you get your shot back on the table is get one of these wet dry vac hose adapters. Make sure that adapter's in there really good. Then you want to put the blind T in there. Lock that in where it belongs. Gorgeous. On your blind T, you've got two little red lines. You're gonna line your cut right up with that. And that is the amount of material we will be removing from this piece of PVC. We're gonna take this PVC out, you're gonna get this Allen key, hit that Allen nut, unscrew it, and then there's nothing up top supporting it, you pull it right out. After you've cut your PVC with your saw, take and attach this piece back into place. Line T off with this attached. Get it low and right where that belongs. All right, so now you're going to take your M5 and you are going to attach it to, to your dust collection, your shop vac. Last but not least, you take another adapter and you're going to take it to this side. And that will be where your hose is at. All right, let's see it in action. All right, so I know for a fact I'm gonna get the question, why? Why do you need it? Why do you need the big white thing to attach to the shop vac? We just got electric done and they're drilling through our studs to run the electrical. All of that is gonna end up in a shop vac. But the issue with that going in a shop vac is that it'll take up all the room and it'll clog up your filter and you do not want that. This stops this from getting backed up with crap. This is gonna catch all your big stuff before it hits the filter and ruins it. Get this, you empty it out, it never touches your shop back and you're pristine, you're clean, you're perfect. Everything's good, that's the why. Is it hard to carry? It's not meant to be carried. Let me roll it around. The answer to the question, is it difficult to carry or roll around, move around, is no. All right, so now is the moment we've been waiting for. What did it do? What does this thing do? Take it out to the dumpster and let's find out what this thing stopped from going into the shop back. There it is. Obviously I didn't do a whole lot, but you see exactly what I was picking up. This is what was on film. It's now in here in the separator instead of clogging up your shop back and your filter, which saves your machine, saves you time.
All right, so a couple of things to address really quickly. So initially I attached this adapter back here, which is a dummy mistake because that is the outlet and this is the inlet. This sucks air in and that shoots air out. I cut the PVC for that connection. Wrong, dummy. So because I cut for that orientation, this piece was about up here, which left me with about this much in that collar. So I came down, I cut the lower piece in half again, took the collar off of this piece, added it to the wider piece, and it fit perfectly. The Cyclones for Dummies, you know? That's a, that's a book that I'm gonna put out. Or just woodworking for dummies in general. I feel like I am the author of that book. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching my video. I hope that you learned something from this. If you are interested in getting one of these for yourself, for your shop, I will include my affiliate link down below. Give me a little kickback if you buy one. Also, if you have any questions about this machine, feel free to ask in the comment section down below. If you want to know where you can find me, I am at The Reformation Woodshop on Instagram. If you want to stay up to date with all things The Reformation Woodshop, hit that subscribe button at the top. Hit the notification bell so you'll know any time a video like this comes out. Like I said, I am standing in flip house number three. So if you're interested in all things flipping, stick around this channel as well because there will be videos coming soon. Thank you guys and I'll see you in the next one.